Hello friends, how are you today? You might have gone through the MIT's paper about why 95% of the organizations are failing when they adopt AA genetic solution or genetic AA solution. Right? If you have gone through that article, it's well and good. I'm going to give the summary of that particular article. And I have provided the link in the description. You can go and read that article. But what are all the major five reasons for most of the organizations failing in adopting genetic AA or AA agentic solutions. MID lists out all the five reasons one by one. So we are going to see these five reasons and how we can address these five major failure reasons and be successful in adopting genetic AA or AA agentic solution in this video. The first reason why the AA agentic or genetic AA solutions are failing in most of the organizations is the first one is the organizations are not aligning with the business strategies or if an organization is having particular right vision and mission when they adopt the AA agentic solution they are not aligning with the organization level mission so that is the main reason for failure of adopting genetic AA or AA agentic solution so let's say like you are an organization and uh, you wanted to implement particular AA agentic solution for your organization. First, you must need to understand your organization's vision, where we are going towards and what is the mission of our organization, whether this particular implementation is needed for us or not. So all those things need to be discussed with your exec level uh, people and your technology must be aligned with them so that you can align the strategy, business strategy with the technology implementation of adopting agentic AI solution or generative AI solution for your organization. So most of the organizations are not doing, that is the reason they are failing. That was the first reason MIT mentioned in that article. And second one is the data quality, governance and integration. They covered these three major areas are not being focused by the people who are adopting AI agentic or generative AI solution when they implement for their organization. So let's uh, go one by one what exactly the data quality they talked about. So if you are planning to adopt genetic solution or agentic solution for your organization, your data is the key here. So you must definitely collect, organize, analyze and curate the data before feeding into the model. So if you fail in this particular area, your A agentic solution will fail. So focus on the data quality. And second one is governance. So when it comes to governance, you must have data governance and the model governance. If you have not implemented model governance or data governance, there are chances that your model or data will get affected by vulnerable uh, attacks in your um, systems. So you must definitely implement the governance mechanism for all the data and model that you use in your uh, project. And the third one is integration. So what MIT is saying, when the organization adopts the agentic AI solution or generative AI solution, they are not giving importance to the integration solution. So what it means, if you are planning to adopt an AI agent project or are planning to implement a generative AI solution for your organization, you must think about whether the legacy system can be integrated with your AI agentic solution properly. If you are not able to implement or integrate these two systems, the new A agentic solution system and also legacy integration, legacy system, your integration will be failure, right? So this is one of the reasons for the 95% failure when they adopt A agentic solution. And the third reason what MIT says is the skill gap. If you are an organization or enterprise planning to adopt A agentic solution or generative A solution, First, you must check whether your organization has the capability to implement this solution. Since other organizations are implementing as a peer person, you cannot go and implement uh, this solution for your organization. You have to check whether you have enough uh, data engineers, data scientists, AI architect and cloud architect, integration architect or enterprise architect and also the people who are working on the ground to create these solutions whether you have the Python uh, skills, all those things you have to check. And MIT is saying that organizations are not focusing on 
their skill set availability before adopting any ai agentic solution so if you are in the journey of adopting ai agentic solution or generative ai solution check the skill gap in your organization and address that gap and the fourth reason what mit says is the business team and the technology team are working silo that is the reason for the failure major failures so if you are an enterprise and you may have the business architects and technology architects and technical people who are dealing with the technology solutions and business people who are talking about the business organizations business strategies business objectives these two teams should work together and if a requirement comes from the business team saying that hey we are planning to adopt the a agentic solution for this particular organization or lob so that we can automate the existing manual system and we can get the complete benefit of uh, the proactive identification of the issues so and so so as a technical team we must go and collaborate with the business team uh, and then finalize the solution for implementing it so what most of the enterprises are doing if the technology comes in they just go and explore the technology very aggressively and start implementing it by doing some pocs and uh, building some kind of uh, environment where they can run it in the development environment and implement it in the lower environment and trying it out without discussing with the business team so this is one of the reasons for major failure of adopting a agentic solution or generative ai solution for the organization so how do we address this one if you are an enterprise definitely you must cooperate with the uh, the business team collaborate with the business team integrate all the um, siloed part with uh, one particular uh, mission and align with that mission and go and implement it and the fifth reason what exactly mit mentions for major reasons for the failure is the operationalization so when it comes to operationalization when you build a poc or set up this generative ai or ai agentic solution in the development environment it all goes well but the only thing is when you plan to adopt this in the production you fail so first define the strategies properly and then go slowly one by one start small and try it out in the lower environment deploy it and see the full value in the lower environment and analyze whether you wanted to implement this in the production to get the full benefit for your project and also align this particular solution with the business always to get the return on investment plan all these well and then go and implement in the production but most of the organization about 95% of the organizations did not do this homework they just got the technology went ahead and purchased the licenses and started working on their project and implemented it and they check the success or failure in the lower environment but they did not analyze whether it is really required for implementing in the production and whether this will give the return on investment if we implement it so these homeworks were not done by most of the organization 95% of the organization and that is the only reason for this major failure it is not the technology failure this is the adoption or process failure that's what mit is highlighting but if you look at those 5% of the organizations who were so successful in implementing and adopting a agentic solution they followed all these discussions that what we had the five areas that is aligning with your business strategy and second one is considering the data quality governance and integration and third one is the business team and um, technology team working together and fourth one is skill gap and fifth one is on operationalization planning right so all these things were done properly by those 5% of the organization and they were successful so again it is not a technology failure this is the process or the implementation failure of a agentic solution so if you are in the journey of implementing or adopting generative ai or ai agentic solution as an organization first follow all these the right things and then learn and adopt this generative solution for your organization 
Um, so these are all the major five reasons for 95% of the organization failing in adopting the ready-way agent solution. I have provided the details in the description. You can go and read the article and uh, correct all these five mistakes and adopt generative AI or AI agency solution for your organization successfully. And if you like this video, you thumbs up and share it to your friends so that they'll also get benefit out of it. Take care. Bye.